Hello, welcome to a damp and gloomy Cornwall. My name's Andy Paramore and this is part three of the spoon making videos and we're going to be doing a design on the on the spoon in pyrography. I'm in the workshop, I've got the fire going behind so we're nice and cosy. Um, I've got a Peter Child pyrography machine and um, I haven't had a lot of experience with it but I've had a couple of goes and I've tried to come up with the, a design on the spoon which wasn't easy because there's not a lot of room there and I wanted to make it interesting so uh, if you can see that that's my design and hopefully we can make it work I'll get the camera set up so that it's looking down as I'm doing the burning and we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, here we go. I haven't got the heat setting too high on this, hopefully. It should work out nicely, I don't want to burn it too quickly. And I want nice fine lines. As I say, I haven't, I haven't done a lot of this, so we just have to see how it goes. If it doesn't work, we can always sand it down and start again. I'm just going to put the line right around the outside to start with just to frame frame the design got to be quite light with the touches if you hold it on for very long it does want to burn a big patch in it which we don't want when we come to do the rope design it's, uh, it's a bit different to what it looks like on there because here I've just done the done the shapes of the rope design but eventually it's gonna it's gonna have to go over and under over and under so I have to make sure I know which which parts going over and which parts going under and not get them mixed up because you only got to get it wrong on one and you uh, there's no real going back apart from rubbing it out again or just living with it it's not like drawing with a pencil you can't erase it and start again other than sanding it down and can't send it down too many times because uh, there's not that, that much spoon to go at. <laughs> right then, I've just got to work out which one's over. So that part of the spoon comes, that part of the rope rather, comes over. So that line over there which means this one comes under it so we stop it on that line like that 
and then each one of those diagonals get this to prop it up each one of those in that direction on this side will go over is that right? yep so I can, I can actually go across there on each one of these And really it's just a case of going around the whole design doing the same thing working out which goes over which goes under and drawing the lines in so the next little bit I will be fast forwarding but you get the general idea and then these little blocks in between like those are little squares I'll, I'll black those in like that just to give the whole thing a bit of depth all those squares will get blacked in hopefully it'll look quite nice
Okay, so that's the design done. We've got to. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of shading now where one goes underneath the other. Um, I don't want to be left with the pencil marks in, so I'm going to, I think I'll um, sand the pencil lines out now because I don't need them anymore. And then when I come to do the shading, which is only very light, hopefully. It, uh, I won't be having to sand it and sand the liners, sand the, sh sand the sh shading out. Let's see that. Right, I've swapped over the tips, so I've got a. This one's got a slightly flattened tip on it, which is designed for shading. So we'll see how it uh, see how it performs. So wherever it comes underneath is where we just add a bit of shading and just fade it out. I think I'll become a pyrography artist anytime soon, but uh, it certainly adds a bit of interest to the spoon. Let's see what it looks like. I'll put a bit of mineral oil on it just to protect it. It's food safe, so. Just help the spoon not to absorb everything it touches. Take a few photos and show it at the end. Okay, so there we go, that's all finished. There we are. Please uh, subscribe if you will, like, share, uh, ring the little notification bell, and um, my next video hopefully I'm not sure what it'll be yet but hopefully it'll be coming out shortly and um, from a rainy Cornwall goodbye <laughs>